Hey everybody, so I wanted to make a quick video walking you through my workspace. Um, the first video that I uploaded, I scaled the resolution down and it kind of made things a little bit blurry. So I wanted to see if I could upload it in the full resolution. So I thought I'd just show you my workspace and uh, see how that works. So let me know if you can see everything. Um, if we have any problems, maybe we can you know, increase the font size on some of these things or something of that nature. But let me show you the workspace here. Um, so the main place I want you to focus on is all of these DOMs here. So I'm using the Jigsaw DOM. And um, I have it set up so that I can actually zoom in on it for you guys. So uh, let me know what you think about that. Um, I kind of use the same setup that is recommended by the No BS Day Trading course so I have the 30 the 10 and the 5 here and I also have reconstructed tapes for each of those to show me the orders and this one these tapes down here show me the larger orders um, and then I also look at the uh, mini track as I like to call it and then I have a bunch of other things on my screen that I just kind of use so that if I forget what happened or kind of remind me what's been going on. Um, I also use these windows to look at indicators that I'm working on and programming to uh, see if they work, see if there's any kind of patterns that I've seen in them. Maybe I can make strategies off of it and so forth. So um, first thing is these uh, footprint charts. Up here on the left, I have uh, 30, 10, five year. Um, a lot of the time I cover these up with Discord and so forth like that. Um, I've actually modified a footprint chart that I found on the forum. Um, eventually I'll probably post it, but there's still a couple of things that I want to work out. Um, the yellow highlighted row is the most volume for that time period, and the magenta highlighted row is the greatest delta difference for that time period. And then these rows down here show me the delta difference, cumulative delta for this session, uh, volume for that bar, and total volume for the session. Um, and then on my charts over here, I'm using one range charts with price action swing on it. This is a relative volume indicator that shows me how much volume we're trading compared to days past. Um, and then this indicator here on the right side this little um, volume profile something that I wrote this is actually a cumulative delta difference column so it shows me what is the current cumulative delta compared to what the delta was the last time that price traded so you can see here the price that we're at should always be zero but then we can see you know at 150.07 we're now currently 2,673 contracts cumulative delta higher than last time we traded seven. This is kind of a useful way of looking at cumulative delta because I don't have to come down and look at the chart and put my cursor here and see okay, is it higher or lower? I can just look at the number. It's also really great at showing me trapped traders. So if, if this is orange, if these numbers are negative, that could indicate trapped traders. Um, and that tends to be a very good indicator that uh, we're going to go higher or lower if, if we see, you know, blue up here. So um, I also have the knob spread right here. That's the uh, the spread between the 30-year and the 10-year. Still something I'm kind of working on. I'm not quite sure how I want to trade it, but it is kind of useful to let you know that something's happening <laughs> generally when... There's a spread happening. Uh, the markets are going to do something. So, uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about anything I just showed, please put them in the comments. If you have trouble seeing anything, uh, let me know, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.